What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over how to find successful Shopify stores. We're going to go over three different strategies here and three different websites where you can find other successful Shopify stores that you can take as inspiration, you can look at the products you're selling. And you're not going to be in this alone. There are tons of Shopify stores to take as examples. So we're going to go over these different strategies here. So make sure you stay to the end of the video so you understand all of them. Before we dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. There's going to be a link in the description to access that free trial there. Now I'm going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy-to-read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. So the first site we're going to take a look at today is myip.ms. So you're essentially going to find Shopify here and then look for similar websites. So what you're going to type in is 23.227.38.32 in this who is lookup. Click on it there and it's going to load an example Shopify store and you want to see other sites on this IP. And from there, you're going to get a full list of different Shopify stores. It's going to be sorted by traffic. So if we go to view all records, it's just going to give you this massive list of Shopify stores. So you can start clicking through here, getting some really good examples, especially at the top with some highly visited Shopify sites. The next one we we'll take a look at is built with. So if you simply search for Shopify, you don't look up, it's going to give you a full list. Now to get all the Shopify stores, you are going to need a premium version as there are 3.8 million Shopify customers. You can download a section of this here just by using the free plan. You're also just getting a huge list of different Shopify stores, their tech spend, their socials, estimated employees, traffic as well as the location where they have set up their Shopify store. <coughs> it's also gonna give you estimated revenue as well. So overall, those are two tools that are really easy to use. And it's gonna give you an overall view and an overall list of tons of Shopify stores that you can look up and use as examples or inspirations for your very own store. So the next website we're gonna take a look at today is called SimilarWeb. It's gonna effortlessly analyze your competitor's landscape. And so you're gonna insert a URL or a website here. This works really well if you know you have a competitor or a similar Shopify site that you wanna see how well they're doing, where they're getting their traffic from. And similar websites to that, it's gonna lead you down a rabbit hole of sorts and there is a very generous free plan. So once you enter an example URL, click that search button, it's gonna load quite a few statistics. So we can see the estimated employees, the year founded, their HQ, as well as their estimated revenue. We also get statistics such as a global rank, category rank, as well as how many visits and your average duration. We can also get information on their country targeting. So we can see most of their users come from the UK, followed by the United States. We get estimations on their demographic. So let's say your Shopify store is starting out you find a competitor here. You wanna see possibly what audiences they're targeting. We can see what demographics they're getting. You can say, okay, 25 to 34 is the age selection. Maybe I'll include 18 to 24 as well. And I'll target them on Facebook. And we can see most of them are male. So maybe I'll target them as well, rather than creating a completely broad category. We also get other websites visited. So you can see the audience interest. You can see opium.com might be an example. I mean, YouTube and The Guardian are kind of generic. We also do get competitors and similar sites. So if you just wanted to open up all of these here, you can get additional competitors that this site has. You can see their marketing and traffic and so on. So it also has a great marketing channels overview. So we can see the percentage that came from direct, referrals, search, social, and mail, as well as their top keywords. So it's gonna allow you to spy a little bit into their marketing strategy, as well as the referrals they get. It could be something that you emulate as well to help bring traffic to your own Shopify store. So about another really great channel here. So this concludes the video on how to find successful Shopify stores. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below and i also want to mention profit calc again the one click profit calculator app available on the shopify app store it comes with a 15 day free trial and the link is in the description below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in our next video